Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in and welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Jen and I love all things color. We talk about makeup, skincare. Today we are doing skincare and my absolute favorite topic, mineral sunscreen. Sunscreens in general, but mineral sunscreen is my absolute favorite thing to try out. I go through them like crazy. I never leave the house. It's part of my morning routine. Like my morning routine does not stop with a moisturizer. It stops with a sunscreen. Whether I'm leaving the house or not, it's always there on my skin. So, yep. Super Goop has come out with a brand, brand, brand new sunscreen. And I cannot be more delighted because it's a 100% mineral sunscreen. And the texture is that serum texture, and which I fell hard for last year because this guy this watery lotion this is a this is a hundred percent chemical sunscreen spf 50 this is every single face uh it's like basically water right it's like water um and it's i believe 30 dollars something like that and i love and fell in love with the serum texture a watery texture because it was so easy to blend this is the chemical sunscreen and it has no tint look at it's gone it's just gone so, and I was so delighted to find out that Supergoop has come out with 100% mineral sunscreen. Not only that, it's a, it also has retinol inbuilt in it. So, uh, the retinol is a plant-based retinol. That's why it says bio-retinol. So, the plant-based retinol is Bakuchio, which is uh, supposed to be very gentle on the skin or not very irritating at all. At least initially, like old school retinol is like very rotating it kind of like appeals your skin and then your skin really adapts to it but yeah anyways uh so it has collagen boosting peptide as well and they've used like a technology what is this called here technology is mineral blend technology i'm so sorry guys it's pissing out like the brits say it's like <laughs> it's pissing out and i'm so sorry if it gets too loud i'm not sure if we need to take a break um so anyways and also good thing is it also has a pa rating so it's definitely uva and uvb protection because the uh, key ingredient active ingredient is only zinc not just titanium i believe titanium dioxide is only uvb not uva so zinc is the ingredient which gives you protection with uva and uvb so when you're going for mineral sunscreens definitely look for uv uh I'm sorry, I was, I was about to say something. Definitely consider looking for zinc as well because I think titanium is just UVB and also has a PA rating, PA3 plus signs, which means it's very, it's good. I think 4 plus is like the maximum uh, benefit you could get. And this is slightly on the expensive side. It's $46 and I was like, that's, that's, that's a little expensive, <laughs> but yeah. Okay, let me quickly like sneak peek and show you what this looks like. It is a plastic bottle, not a um, glass bottle. So it's a plastic bottle. Reminds me of the Murad's Mineral Serum Sunscreen, 100% mineral sunscreen they came out with last year. If you're interested, I'll leave it down below. But that is a glass uh, product. It's actually quite heavy too. So this is the tint. It's, it, it is tinted, slightly tinted. It's like this gray taupe color and it's serum-y. Look how runny that is. It is very serum-y. And there you have it. So, yep, that's a little sneak peek. You're definitely, there is demo and final thoughts on the product. So, stick around for that. And uh, if you like these kinds of videos, please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't already. It really, really, really helps out my content, help like-minded enthusiasts find my content as well uh, and vice versa. I would love to meet them as well. So yeah, if you're new here, definitely come say hi in the comment section. I would love to meet you. Let's head over to the demo part of the video. All right, guys, let's see what this looks like on my skin, on my eyes. I have a stunning stunning multi-chrome eyeshadow from cleona this is their collab with emily violet i think that i think that's her name uh, so it's just like one of the just one of the eyeshadows just one shadow all over the lids beautiful beautiful color on my lips i have uh this very very old uh this 
vinyl gloss from Pat McGrath. It's like very, very old one, like part of like some kit. She, she, that's how she came up with, right? Like initially those kits. And on my skin, just bare skin, just moisturizer, nothing else. As you can see, it has not been doing well. Acne, a lot of acne has ravaged my skin, but it's now it's better. I mean, it's left a lot of scars, but the inflammation has come down and it's really, it's on the path of recovery. It's definitely heading right. So, all right, let's see what this looks like on my skin. I'm going to shake this and put it on. Okay, there's something there. I'm going to make sure I have enough. Let's see, let's blend the dramatic dripping sunscreen. That's, it's pretty impressive. That is pretty impressive. I'm not gonna lie, when I first got it and I saw that tint, I had a lot of doubts. I had a lot of doubts. I wasn't sure if it was gonna work out for my skin because, but look, it's, it's actually pretty flawless because um, I had a sunscreen by CeraVe. It, it's a mineral sunscreen and it had the exact same, this ashy taupe color. And I was positive it was going to work. I was like, oh, it's, it's, it, this color kind of looks darker and it's going to work on me. And no, it did not. It was more of the, the typical, that paste consistency, like, thick pasty consistency of a you know how mineral sunscreens are that i don't know like not a toothpaste but you know like a thick paste you have to like work it into your skin kind of a paste so so when i saw this deja vu and i was like i know that shade and it's probably not gonna work for me but i believe uh, because of its like serum-y consistency it's really really good it blends beautifully onto the skin yeah and also also wears really well under makeup as well you're gonna have to wait for a uh, like 20 minutes for it to like set and form that you know, mineral sunscreen form that film on top uh, so you don't want to disturb that film or that layer so I think this, uh, I'm not putting a whole lot uh, because I'm actually not going to go out today. I, I'm done for the day. I mean, in fact, I'm going to catch a flight, but that is like at night. So I'm not going to go anywhere, to be honest. So this demo is just, this sunscreen application is just for the demo. So yeah. And I think it's pretty fantastic. It's really, really, really good. And, and I'm incredibly impressed. Just uh, the one thing I would say is reiterate. I would say is that don't include retinol. If you already have a retinol in your daytime routine, don't include um, that when you're using this sunscreen. Because you, usually it's not advisable to um, use more than one retinol product in the same uh, skincare routine. So yeah, so I'm just going to quickly set my face with powder and be right back. All right, I am back. Uh, I took off the lip gloss because I w I've been like dying to wear this lipstick. Where are you? It's Pat McGrath lipstick. This is the matte trans lipstick in the shade Obsessed. Look at that. It's just <laughs> seriously packs a punch. Like it punches you in the eye. Whoever is like looking at you, it's just like so bang. It's like up so i thought it would be perfect for this eye look to be honest so i put that on so always um i think on my uh cheeks i'm wearing the nars uh rising star palette that came out for this holiday season that's the one i had i got so that's it and then oh um if you see that my hyperpigmentation is a little bit covered i use the laura geller's baked and balance and glow it's more of a glowy powder in the shade tan so that's it and i just like set my face again with the same powder that's it so yeah let's uh, quickly round up this uh product cons 
I don't think there are any cons, to be honest. There are no cons. I love this, love this, love this so, so much. Let's talk about the pros. Uh, mineral sunscreen, 100% mineral sunscreen. It is lightly, slightly tinted, but it doesn't, honestly, it doesn't even get on the clothes or anything like that. It doesn't look crazy even when it gets on the clothes. And I love that it has, what's this called? A bioretinol. I think it's, uh, it's, it's bakuchiol. It's bakuchiol. Bakuchiol and which gives you retinol, which is amazing for the skin. Everybody knows that. And mineral sunscreen, it's it's amazing. And it has um, PA rating, which is also very, very good. You know that it gives gives you both UVA and UVB protection. And is no fragrance. Then it is reef safe because it is mineral sunscreen and also, yeah, it says that it has like mineral blend technology. That's like the new technology that they've used in this. And the only downside I would say is the packaging is also plastic. Very, very travel friendly. It's definitely a little high up there in the price. It's 46. So I would say the price is a little bit of, I'm sorry if you hear like noise. It's like pouring, pouring out there. Um, so yeah. The price is a little bit on the higher side, but I seriously, genuinely feel it's so worth it. But if you're, uh, maybe if you're not very comfortable with retinol, uh, I think Bakuchiol is like a very, uh, very like gentle kind of retinol. It's not very irritating at all. So I think this might still work for you if you haven't even like tried retinol before on your skin. And it has a PA rating. Uh, I literally can't think of anything else to say it's a two thumbs up for me i seriously feel i think super group needs to come out with like a mini size of this because everybody needs to try this and it's a must buy guys i will absolutely repurchase this and i love that it doesn't like uh sting or like irritate when i take it near the eyes unlike her sister so uh chemical 100 chemical sunscreen which came out last year and it does travel and kind of like sting a little bit if you take it too too close to the eyes but she this girl is very 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 nice i love her so that is it i really hope no cons whatsoever all pros so i love this product so much i really hope you guys try it out it is a must buy if you have darker skin tones uh, it's like two in one crazy good retinol and mineral physical sunscreen spf 40 it's a high spf it's it's really good must buy that is it i really hope you guys enjoy this video and i will see you guys very soon bye